I am going to make a stained glass window for a doll using a recycled cereal box, clear plastic from packaging, washable markers, a clear drying glue like Mod Podge, scrapbook paper, a paper tube, craft paint, and glue. I start by cutting a cereal box down the middle so the sides can open up. Remove the tabs from the top and sometimes I find it easier to open the box completely so that it lays flat. Take a piece of clear plastic from packaging and if you have trouble finding clear plastic from doll packaging, you can also use the top of a clear egg carton. You just might have to make your windows in long panes instead of one large piece. Now I cut my plastic to the desired size. I place the plastic in the center of the box, trace around it, remove the plastic, use a ruler to draw another rectangle inside that will be slightly smaller than the plastic. Carefully cut out the smaller rectangle and remember to always have adult supervision when working with sharp objects. Remove the rectangle using a glue stick. Begin covering the paperboard with scrapbook paper. I covered the sides with a gold vintage domisk, used tan around the window, and folded it over to the other side. I continued the trim around the top and bottom. On the other side, I decided to do something whimsical and use a rose printed paper. Take another paperboard box, I opened it up to use for the floor. Cover with scrapbook paper, cut and cover another piece of paperboard and glue it to the floor underneath the window to match the rest of the floor. And this time we chose to make the floor a trapezoid instead of a rectangle to switch things up a little. But the walls can still be folded in when it is time to be stored away. Now that we have made the basic room, it is time to make the window. On a piece of paper, I sketch a rose by first drawing a heart, then I add to it. a rough sketch of the rose. Now I'm going to go back and take my time and clean up the sketch. I hold it up to the window just to make sure I like the proportions. Then I begin adding more detail around the rose. My drawing is now complete and I will make a copy available on our blog. And if you're looking for more inspiration, you can always use a coloring page for your design. Now I place the clear plastic on top, use tape to hold it in place, then use black acrylic paint to trace over the lines, making sure the lines are thick and moving from one side to the other. Allow it to dry, then using a washable marker, color between the lines. Add a little gloss Mod Podge and fill in the space, being careful to stay inside the lines. Continue to repeat this process, and I like to do one color at a time. First, I did all of the red, and now I'm doing all of the fuchsia, making sure the marker does not touch the black lines. Once I've done all of the coloring, I go back and add the Mod Podge. After it dries, if I want the color to be more vibrant, I just go back and do a second coat of coloring and Mod Podge. Allow it to dry. While waiting, I cut a paper tube, cover with paper, cut squares of leftover paperboard, stack and glue them together, cover with paper, glue the tube to the paperboard to make columns. I use stickers and cutouts from doll packaging to make art for the walls. And once the glue is dry, glue it behind the opening. I use washi tape to cover the edges on the back to give it a clean finish. Then I decided to use a little on the inside as well to make a Beauty and the Beast inspired stained glass window perfect for Valentine's Day. And you're done. Happy crafting!
give a shout out to Ella Wu. What's up? See you later, Chloe. I am so happy you invited me on your family vacation to Disney World. It's no big deal. Besides, Chloe never wants to do the things that I want to do. Like roller coasters? I love roller coasters. Um, no. I don't do roller coasters. Well then, what are we gonna do? Dress up like princesses and hang out in the castle. All right, but Sophie, we don't have any dresses. Carmen, when it comes to being a princess, I am always prepared. Old Belle or new? Chloe? What?